Hey guys, it's Miss Christy and I'm with Miss Amanda and this is week two of Kids Church on Quarantine. I hope you are excited and ready for another fun feel episode. I promise, I hope it's going to be a little shorter than last week, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, so before we get started, let's go ahead and pray. Uh, today is one of the most important Sundays of the whole year. Uh, other than your know, Christmas, it's Easter. So happy Easter. If you didn't know, he did come out of the grave. He is risen. Um, hallelujah for that. So uh, let's go ahead and pray, Miss Amanda, and uh, we'll get started. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today, such an awesome day. We thank you for the opportunity to once again celebrate the risen Lord Jesus Christ. Death tried to have their hold on him, tried to keep him in the grave. However, you had bigger and better plans. And today, over 2,000 years ago, he rose again. Lord, I thank you for what Jesus did. Shedding his blood gives us the opportunity to cover ourselves in his blood. And that's what we are doing during this quarantine. We are covering ourselves in the blood of Jesus to stay safe and stay on fire for you, Lord. I thank you for our risen Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for today that we would celebrate you in our families, in our homes, and in our hearts. We would have the best Easter yet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So, just like we promised last week, we have something very special for today. Um, Miss Amanda? Yes. Are you ready for an Easter egg hunt? I'm so ready. So, so ready. I've been waiting all week to go find eggs. No kidding. All week. Um, you know, Miss Amanda, most people bring a, a, you know, a small little Easter basket. Oh, I got it. I got it. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm ready to go Easter egg hunting. I've been waiting all week. Whew. Is there a prize for how many you get? Um, because I think I may win if I fill this up. Um, Miss Amanda, <laughs> um, most people use the basket. What is that? This is a, a basket. Um, a water I'm, basket, but it's still a basket. I, I'm pretty sure that's like a bucket. No, no, it's an Easter basket for today. Well, I can tell by the size of your basket that you're very excited. Oh, yeah. So, let's go ahead okay. and get started. <laughs> so. should be rules, right? All right, so Miss Amanda, there are 12 eggs hidden. I need you to find an egg. There is something very special in each one of the eggs. So when you find an egg, okay. I need you to open that egg and I'm going to explain it to you. Okay, I need you, have you ever played hot or cold? Okay. Okay, so to start, because I don't even know where to start, you've got to tell me, am I getting hot or cold? Okay. Okay. All right, where do you want to head? Ah, uh, cold. Sure. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh. This is like music class. You know, I think I think last week I asked you if there was gonna be some money in the eggs. This Man, maybe this is the the hot one with some money in it. Number two. Number two. Has okay. Three dimes. Ooh. Three dimes. Hmm. Matthew chapter 26 verses 14 and 15 say then one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priests and said what are you willing to give me if I deliver him to you and they counted out to him 30 pieces of silver so those three dimes you're holding represent the 30 pieces of silver that Judas Iscariot sold Jesus for. Can you imagine Judas Iscariot? We've talked about him in kids' church before. Oh, who was he? He was the one. Um, was he like a backstabber? Right? Mm -hmm. Did he? Yeah. Oh, he betrayed Jesus. That's what it was. Right. What? What was he called though? What was his relationship to Jesus? What was he? He was a disciple. He was a disciple. How many disciples did Jesus have? Twelve. Twelve. He was one of the twelve. Can you imagine one of Jesus' best friends sold him for 30 pieces of silver? 30 cents? I couldn't even buy bubble gum with this. Right. Judas Iscariot sold out Jesus. All right, it's time to find another egg. Is my hot or cold? Uh, you're getting a little cold. Getting a little cold. Getting a little, getting a little warmer. A little warmer. I'm like, come on. Number three. All right, number three. <laughs> you labeled them. <laughs> oh, it's a cracker. Nice, <laughs> a cracker. All right, Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 and 28 say. Treat? You have a snack? As and as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it. Oh, I know what this is. And he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. Do you know what this meal was called? Is that the Passover? Yes, it was the Passover meal. Very good, Miss Amanda. So Jesus and the 12 disciples gathered together to celebrate the Passover, which we have learned in the past that that was part of uh, Moses and the Israelites way back in the Old Testament. That's when the Passover started. Huh. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. What are we on? Egg number six. How many do you have? Oh, four. I'm sorry. Hold four. on, hold on. Four. I only found three eggs in here. <laughs> it's really deep. Okay, number four. All right, look at uh, cold, cold, cold. Hmm. Now this one might be a little of a, oh. little of a chunk. Woo, blend it in. Look oh. at that. All right, number four, Miss Amanda. Open it up and tell us what you got. Is this a golden egg? Um, I don't think so. Oh. Like a scroll. A scroll. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye. <clears throat> Should I read it? Wow. Yeah, sure. Matthew 26, 39. Okay. Oh my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Who do you think was saying that prayer, Miss Amanda? Oh my father. Maybe it was Jesus talking to God? Yes, that's right. Where was he? Was he in the garden? He was. Like we are? Yes, right. Oh, this is my garden. Right, it's the perfect place to have an Easter egg hunt in the garden, just like Jesus was. So, now, I don't think we've really learned this yet, but it's a good time to tell you, when Jesus came and he was alive on the earth, he introduced us to the relationship of God the Father, okay? Because before then, God was, you know, holy, separated. He was way far off, right? However, Jesus brought in, he always called God Father. He brought us 
to where we could call him father. He could be our father. Wow. But that's so not just it. What's this cup? Right. So, after, so he's praying to God, right? He's called him father. He is just worried. He's not really worried. He's just really in distress. So, Jesus knows what's coming. But we know what's coming too. Not most people didn't know what was about to happen, but Jesus knew, and he was like he always did. He had gone, separated himself from people, got into his quiet place, to his secret place with the Father, and he was praying, trying to prepare himself to go through the cross that he knew he was going to have to go through. So he said, "Lord, Father." Please, if I don't have to go through this, please don't let me. However, if it's your will, I will be more than glad to do it. Oh, so it's not like just a cup he was drinking out of. No, oh. no, he okay. didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Are we good? All right. Okay, number, number five. Five, five. okay. Five. Um, maybe, maybe a little warmer. an egg. Okay, Miss Amanda, what is in egg number five? A uh, piece of rope? Oh, 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 it fell out right here. There you go. Awesome. All right. Number five is a piece of rope. Mark, that's his book, Mark, still in the New Testament, chapter 15, verse 15 says, so Pilate, wanting to gratify the crowd, released Barabbas to them, and he delivered Jesus after he had scourged him to be crucified. So what is that for? That's the piece of rope. It represents a whip. Oh. Yes, so before Jesus even made it to the cross, Pilate had him, this says scourged. So what that really means is they had him whipped. Him? Like a whip. Have you ever seen an old movie um, and maybe there's some cowboys and they're on horses and they use a whip? Like that? Yes. Like, Get up. Right. They whipped it. Well, they didn't do it to horses. They did it to Jesus. Oh. They did it to his back. Oh. Yes. Yes, Miss Amanda. There was this one time I got in trouble at home and my mama told me if I didn't clean my room, She's gonna whoop me. I think it's a little bit more um, more extreme than that. Okay. Right. Um, I don't think your mom's gonna whip you like Jesus was whipped. Oh. Um, no. What was he whipped for? Because did he not clean his room? Um. He. I'm. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he cleaned his room. Okay. But. Uh, but Jesus was whipped as punishment by Pilate. For what? For your sins, for our sins, for your sins. He got a, he got whipped for me. Yes, he got whipped for you and me and you. Wow. Yes. Can you imagine how much that hurt? But he did it. You remember when he was praying, he knew what was about to go down. He knew it was going to hurt, but he still said, "Father, I'll do it." And he did it for you and me and you. Yeah. Okay. All right, number six. Let's see. Is number six. Number six. Awesome. All right, oh. Miss Amanda. What is in that egg that is bursting at the seam? Ow! Oh. Oh. Does oh. it hurt? Yes, it pricked me. Oh. Why would you put thorns in an egg? Oh, thorns. Do you have any idea why there's thorns in this Easter egg? keep me away from the candy. Well, that too. But I'm sure you know why there's thorns in this Easter egg. <clears throat> Number six represents a crown of thorns. That is thorns on his head. Matthew chapter 27 verse 29 says, when they had twisted a crown of thorns, they put it on his head. 
and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Can you see that? That hurts. Man. Just think, they had made a crown, which is supposed to be for royalty, right? Which is supposed to have like jewels and diamonds and rubies and gems. My new name's Princess. <laughs> right, so I'm sure, I'm sure you know a lot about crowns, right? Being right. a princess. This crown wasn't made for a princess though. Oh. It had thorns, and as you know, Thanks. thorns hurt. And they crafted it thorn branches like on a rose bush and they put it on his head some translations of the Bible say they kind of pushed it down a little bit oh yes can you imagine thorns no. but he went through it he went through it okay oh number seven. Oh, that one kind of shakes and rattles and rolls oh snails Ooh, nails two hmm. nails two small nails Okay, so Matthew 27, that's chapter 27, verse 31. And when they had mocked him, they took the robe off him, put his own clothes on him, and led him away to be crucified. What do you think they did with those nails? Did they build the cross? Um, not with those nails. They did something much worse. You know, I, I don't know. Tell me. What, what do you think they did? Right. So they actually took those two nails. They placed it on his hands. Like this? Um, no, not, not really. More like this. Oh, my, in, in my hand? They put it on his hand and they actually took a nail and they drove it through his hand oh gracious right so here we go again something that hurt jesus something that hurt jesus so this nail these nails on his palms hurt him they drove it through so is this what made him stay on the cross they thought that was going to make him stay on the cross his love for us actually made him stay on that cross. Okay, let's get some. Oh, I'm getting warm. Number eight. Oh, woo, woo. oh, that is just popping out. Woo. We're going to play a game. Woo. Oh, a dice. All yeah. right. Number eight, a dice. Matthew 27, 35. Then they crucified him and divided his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. <clears throat> so, while they were putting Jesus on the cross, they nailed him up there, they actually played games at his feet. They played games while Jesus was dying for our sins. Wow. Right. Did they play Monopoly? N no. They actually were mocking Jesus while they were playing games. They were taking his clothes, and they were betting and they were they were just playing ugly games at the foot of the cross to mock Jesus. Okay. okay. All right. So number nine, Miss Amanda. Eight. Nine. Nine. You gotta find nine. Nine. Okay. Let's see what you got, Miss Amanda. Oh. Bursting at the seams. Oh, what is that? Huh. Looks like a toothpick. Toothpick, wonderful. Okay, that toothpick is supposed to represent a spear. John 1934, but when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear oh. and immediately blood and water came out. So they hung Jesus on the cross. Jesus had passed away. He had died for our sins. So the soldiers come and they want to know, is he really dead? Is he really dead? Usually they would break the legs, but the Bible says none of his bones would be broken. So they didn't do that. Instead, they took a spear, like that toothpick, and they put it in his side, 
and blood and water ran out and that way they knew he had passed away he had died for our sins this is why he was praying if the cup could pass yes wow okay that was nice. number 10 Number 10. Oh, you're cold. You're cold. Oh, oh. You're cold. There we go. Number 10. All right. Oh. Huh. Looks like a piece of cloth. Yeah. Okay. The piece of fabric represents the linen. Matthew 27, 59. When Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his new tomb, which he had hemmed hewed, sorry, out of the rock, and he rolled a large stone against the door of the tomb and departed. So Jesus had passed away. They knew he had passed away. They wrapped him in linen. They put him in a tomb that someone gave them to put Jesus in, and they rolled this ginormous rock in front of it. Now I think that might take us to number 11. Uh, cold, 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 warmer, warmer, keep going, keep going, oh. ha, ha, ha. number okay. 11, let's see what you got, Miss Amanda, oh, it's a rock, a rock, see, all right, so number 11 is a stone, Matthew 27, 66, <clears throat> Pilate said to them, you have a guard, go your way, make it as secure as you know now, so they went and made the tomb secure, sealing the stone and setting the guard. So this is when they took that stone, they put it in front of the tomb. This, I, we used a rock. However, this stone was ginormous. It's like one of these. Um, you're kind of getting the picture, Miss Amanda. Was it like this kind of stone? Um, kind of, oh. but not exactly. So it was heavy like that, but it was that times like a gazillion. It was huge. It was huge. So they walked into this tomb, right? So you had to have it big enough for a big door. So this, this stone was huge and it was heavy. You think you're tired now? Ooh, you would have been exhausted back okay. then. All right, I think we have one more egg to find. I hope it's not heavy. I think it's the best egg yet, Miss Amanda. You told me this was better than going to the toy store last week. Yes! You said I couldn't buy this in the toy store. Right. That's why I brought my big bucket. Right. Because I knew it was going to be a big prize. Right. Well, oh. it sure is, Miss Amanda. So Are why you don't ready? you open that egg okay. and see what's going to happen. I got to sit down for this one. I'm out of Are breath. You? Are you okay, Miss Amanda? Oh. Okay. You, you, you can't... Um, so, are you, you ready? Here we go. Ta-da! It's empty. Yeah, ta-da! I don't need a big bucket for this, it's empty. Right, it's empty! I don't understand. Ta-da! Let me do it again, hold on. Okay. All right, maybe she'll get it this time. Just give her a minute. Okay. Ta-da! It's still empty. Yes, absolutely. But it's you empty. said they put them in the tomb stuff. The, yes. The tomb. Yes. And I picked up that big stone. Right. And there was no way that you could move that stone. Right. <laughs> There's no way that he could have got out of there. Well. You some, said guards were there. There were. There were. So how is this empty? Because when there seems to be no way, there is always a way with God. So Matthew 28, 5 says, But the angel answered and said to the woman, Now this was uh, Mary. She had gone to the tomb to prepare Jesus' body, right? She took spices. She took anointing oils. She was going to prepare his body because he was dead, right? He was, he was dead. It was final. It was the end. However, this angel answered Mary and said, do not be afraid, for I know that when you seek Jesus, who was crucified, but he is not here, for he is risen, as he said that he would be. 
come see the place where the Lord lay. So I get it. Yes. This is why it's empty. I was expecting to find something in here. Right. But when Mary went to the tomb, she was expecting to find Jesus. Yes. He wasn't there. Yes. Because somebody took his body. Um, not exactly. No. Um, nobody took his body. No. Um, actually, um, he kind of got up and, and walked out himself. She said they pierced his side to make sure he was dead. They did. I mean, he was dead. He was. Uh, they wrapped him up in linens like they do. People that have passed away, right? Um, they knew he was dead, and they put him in that tomb, and they rolled that stone in front of it. There were, they even put guards. They put policemen outside of the tomb to make sure. However, when it comes to Jesus, there is no stopping him. If he wants to get out and walk out of the grave, he's going to do it. And he did. Oh, so last week we talked about hope. So, is this, is this my hope? Is this what you were talking about? Yes. Th yes. Don't worry, Miss Amanda. Jesus didn't die. It didn't end on the cross. Don't worry. Be hopey. Right. We have hope. Because Jesus who rose from the grave, who got out of that tomb, he gives you hope. That is our hope for today. Wow. Yes. This was the best Easter egg hunt. I know. I knew it would be. You, you really didn't need a, a big bucket. However, this news is ginormous. This was my big bucket moment. Yes, it was. So, you know, I learned about this story and you told me that Jesus died for me, mm -hmm. but what if I don't really know him? What do I need to do? I mean, he told me that he, he died and he's going to take away my sin. Right. So I don't have to do anything, right? I'm good? Um, not exactly, Miss Amanda. So Jesus died for your sins. He rose again. He overcame death, hell, and the grave. However, you do need to accept what he did for you. Oh, can you can you tell me how? And I'll 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 do it. I'm yes. ready. Okay. So if you're ready, we're gonna pray together, and y'all can pray with us. If you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can pray with Miss Christy today and accept him as your Lord and Savior and serve him for the rest of your life. And this is huge, Miss Amanda. This is huge. This is like a turning point in your whole entire life. Right. Right. So Jesus came and he died for your sins because he loved you. And I'm going to put him in my bucket when we're done. Um, no, I, I don't, I don't think so. Oh, well, how is he going to go with me? The Holy Spirit's going to go with you. Okay. We'll talk about that another time. We will okay. talk about that okay. in a few weeks. Okay. But for today, we're going to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. He's going to be Lord of your life. His blood that we talked about at the beginning when we pray, it covers us. The blood that he shed on the cross, it covers us. And that's why right now during quarantine 2020, we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to worry because of the cross. What better time to have a quarantine other than Easter? Wow. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to worry. I'm ready. I've never been more ready. All right. Okay. I'm dropping my papers. We're okay. going to do this, Miss Amanda. Okay. It's going to change the rest of your life. Okay. All right. I want you to repeat after me. We're going to pray. Okay. Okay. All right. So if any of my friends, can they repeat? They sure can. Okay. They can repeat after me. Okay. Just like you're going to do. All right. You ready? All okay. right. Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. I now know. I now know. That Jesus, that Jesus came and lived, came and lived, and died, and died for me. For me, I know, I know that he knew, he knew what was coming. What was coming? He saw my face. He saw my face that night in the garden. That night in the garden, when he prayed to you, when he prayed to you, he saw my face. He saw my face, and he loves me so much. And he loves me. 
so much that he went through the cross. That he went through the cross. He took those whips. He took those whips and those nails in his hand. And the nails in his hand for me. For me. And today. And today. I want. I want to make the biggest statement. To make the biggest statement of my life. Of my life. I accept Jesus Christ. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. And today, and today, I am so excited. I am so excited that he did not stay in the tomb. That he didn't stay in the tomb. But, but he got out. He got out. Father, Father, we thank you today. We thank you for all the Miss Amanda and all the boys and the girls and our friends and their houses, Lord, that have just come to know the saving grace of Jesus Christ. I pray that you would visit them right where they're at. You would fill their hearts with your love, your joy, your peace today, God. I thank you for each and every one of them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, Miss Amanda, is this not the biggest day? Yes. All right. <clears throat> so that was our Kids Church 2020 quarantine Easter egg hunt. I hope you had a good time. Oh, you know what? What? Bible bucks. <gasps> oh, no I kidding. I got an idea. So at the end of the video, we're going to post the egg numbers with the items. Nice. You go on a scavenger hunt around your house. And you see if you can find things that were in my eggs. Okay. And then you're going to line them up. Okay. And then you're going to send a picture or a video Ooh. Ooh. to the church's email again. For what? It's Easter. We're going all out. Oh, all I'm going to give you 10. <gasps> 10 wow bucks. Whoa. Hold on, Miss Amanda. 10. But how many eggs did we find? 12. I'll give you 12 wow yes. bucks if you can go around your yard or your house and find stuff. And hey, if you can't find exactly what I found, draw a picture. Oh, that's good. Yeah, just good draw idea. a picture. And you're going to put them in order. And you're going to take your picture. And you're going to send it. You can send a video if you want. But we'll do that for 12 wow bucks. Wow. Wow. Woo. 12 bucks. All right, guys. I hope you're excited. I hope you're getting ready to click that picture or, or however Miss Land is gonna put it on here. I hope you find it. I hope you go through your house, have your own scavenger hunt, find the, the 12 items. Remember, number 12, stands to me. All right, so find those, take a picture, send it in, earn those wow bucks for when we get back to Kids Church and we will see you next week.